Good morning guys, how you doing? Hope you're all okay. Well, today I'm going to do a little bit of close-up photography with me good old trusty 50mm Prime. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be using 50mm. i also got some black cloth here to, um, to photograph the, the subject on. And um, what I'm going to be pho photographing is this little beauty, you can see that very well. That is a replica of the motorbike Steve McQueen used in the Great Escape. I um, absolutely love this. Margaret got me this for my birthday a few years back because she knew, um, well, first of all, I like the film Great Escape, but even more than that, I like Steve McQueen. And when I was young, I can remember watching The Magnificent Seven and, you know, Steve McQueen and all that lot in it. And I wanted to be Steve McQueen. <laughs> Obviously, I never turned out that way, but hey. Anyways, um, yeah, so I always had this kind of thing about Steve McQueen and, you know, it's just, this is brilliant replica. I mean, detail on it is superb. So the idea is to kind of get some, some close-up shots of that, really. And the other thing what I'm going to try and do as well is um, probably a couple of weeks ago now, Chris Sale did a video on um, multiple images and he put the challenge out there to have a go yourself. Well, I've never done anything like that before. So I thought I might try and do it with the, um, with the motorbike there, try and get three images, all separate images and, and, and blend them together. Um, yeah, nothing ventured, nothing gained, I guess. So that's the plan today. It's, been, it's almost like that, that saying, you know, look but don't touch. You can see the world outside, but you can't really go out and play in it, can you? So, yeah, I remember the other day I was out running and I went somewhere I don't normally run. And at this time, you admit, all the bluebells are out. And I saw this composition there and just totally blew me away is a massive old oak tree and it just had that morning light shining through it and it was surrounded by a bed of bluebells totally beautiful shot and i'd love to go there with a camera just not really appropriate at the minute so anyways i'll have to wait till next year hopefully fingers crossed for that but um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the thing now. I'm just going out for walks around the village and, you know, I'm almost like scouting it really, looking around, thinking, oh yeah, that'd be a good shot next year or maybe, you know, do that later in the year, perhaps if we can get out. But um, you know, just have, like everyone else, we're having to make do with, with what we, we can do at the minute, aren't we? Anyway, with all that said, I'm going to crack on, uh, set up the camera and um, we'll see how we get on. Okay, so I've got the, the black cloth down. What, I'm just going to give the, the bike itself a bit of a clean because, to be honest, it's been sat on the shelf for quite some time. You know what it's like, guys. You never really give it a good dusting when you go around with the duster, do you? Right, so I've got this little camera brush here. I'll get right into all the nooks and crannies, as they say. Just give it a light brush. It's actually doing pretty good. It's mainly on there. Yeah, when the neighbour's kids come around, they think this is a toy. And they're not allowed anywhere near, I can tell you now. I've got a bit of dust on there. Yeah, so I'm doing just sweeping around. Getting in all the little bits and pieces. Got my old trusty blower here. See that? Give that a good blow. There we go. That looks pretty good. From there she is. Little beauty. Yeah, perhaps some coming from that way. Some coming from behind. Maybe one on top. And uh, vice versa. Maybe one from behind. So it's just... Um, just experimenting really. But yeah, let's give it a go. Let's see how we get on. Okay guys, well, this is my first composition, if you like. Um, 
So anyways, the first shot I've just got of the front wheel here with the spokes and the number plate. So what I've done, what I've done is I was watching a video from uh, Lee Hall, I think it was the other day, and he does a lot of close-up stuff. And he was saying that, you know, one of the best ways to do this, or one of the ways, not best ways, one of the ways to do this kind of thing is without a flash, is to dial it right down till you can't see anything, and then just keep slowly dialing it up till it exposes. And then he just sort of shines some torches onto the subject to bring out a little bit more light and that way it kind of darkens all the background so hopefully I won't see any of these creases and I'll just concentrate on on the subject that I'm uh, photographing so that's the plan anyhow I'm going to give it a go but I'll just so I'm just using the torch on the um, phone just to kind of give me a little bit of light okay guys I'll just slightly change the composition I've gone into the portrait orientation and what I'm trying to do now is get just the tip of the hand handlebars here in focus and also the wheel as well and it's proven to be quite difficult actually I mean on um, let's have a little look so I'm on F13 but I still want to keep that kind of shallow depth of thick field, which can be quite shallow anyhow. But what I might do, thinking about it, I might focus stack. So I might focus on just on the handlebars here, the number plate, and then the wheel. And then that way it should be sharp all the way through. But anyways, yeah, it's all good fun. So I'll do that now. I'm just going to focus stack. We'll take three images if you like and do it in post, blend them all together. And tip the handlebars, the number plate to the wheel. Okay, here goes the first image. And the first image I just put me hand in front. That way it gives me like a beginning and an end. Right. Just focused on the Handlebars, just on the number play. It actually looks pretty good, actually. Yeah, that's looking really good, actually. Through the camera there, so a little nose. Yeah, superb. Right, spin around and try a different composition now. And what I might do is just try and get isolate this bit in the middle here. Okay guys, you can see my next composition. So I've gone for this bit here. There you go. And uh, yeah, they're all looking really good for the camera with the black background. And you've obviously got the, um, the silver kind of chrome effect on the motorbike as well, which kind of brightens up the image a bit. Well guys, I have to be honest, <clears throat> it's been really hard work um, doing this today. I don't know why, I don't know it's just trying to video indoors and having to keep moving everything around and a bit tight for space and all that kind of thing, I don't know. But um, yeah, it's been quite a challenge, I'll be honest. Um, I think I've got some pretty good images actually. Looking at the back of the camera, they look pretty good. A couple of them I've focus stacked just to kind of make sure it's focused all the way through. I probably don't, looking at it, I probably don't, didn't need to have done that, but you know, while you've got the camera out, it's worth just taking the extra shots because it doesn't cost nothing, does it? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try and do three images. There we go, three images. Um, blended together. So in my head, I have this vision of kind of like, try to do it so it is like jumping over the fence like in the film but I just can't see how I'm going to do that it's almost like unless you're like a real expert in Photoshop which I'm not um, I can't see how I'm going to do that so I'm just going to do three separate images with the black background and see how they come out I mean 
you know, if nothing else, I'm teaching myself something new, aren't I? You know, I've not done it before, so I'll give it a crack and um, just see how we get on. Right, so uh, yeah, bear with me and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, what I've done, just so you can see that on there, I've just drawn a triangle on a bit of paper. So that takes me back to the old school days. And I thought what I'd do is I'll try and get one with it straight on and then two either side at an angle. And if I'll try and get that as accurate as possible. If I did the triangle then I could just line the bike up with the um with the triangle so I get the three separate images all kind of lined up. Whether it's gonna work or not I don't know. It's just all trial and error guys I'm telling you. But anyway let's give it a go and um and see how we get on. Right so I'm just gonna set the camera up again and uh the first shot well hopefully it'll go okay who knows bear with me and we'll see how we get on shall we okay guys you can see what i've done i've got this bit of paper here which you probably just about make out a triangle and i did another little triangles i was really struggling to kind of like get it lined up so all i did was just put the paper there so i put the bike there took the shot moved the bike there following the angle, took the shot and the same with the other side, like that, got the angle, took the shot. So I'm hoping once I sort of blend them in Photoshop, they should come out all right, they should look pretty even. I'm not guaranteeing it, but you know, with, um, so it's first time I've tried something like that and yeah, it was good fun, so. Oh, well, there you go, guys, well, that's it. Um, all I've got to do now is just process the images in Lightroom and Photoshop. And I've actually really enjoyed it. It's been pretty good. You know, it's, it's a lovely, well, it's not a toy, is it? I suppose boys' toys, whatever you call it. I don't know. But the detail on this is superb. And I've just noticed it must have fallen over at some point because the handlebars have come off, so I need to glue them back into shape. But um, yeah, I don't know what the video is going to come out like. It's a bit all over the shop. But, you know, it's something to do you know, while we can't get outside. So hopefully it'll come out okay. Anyways, enough chat. Yeah, so there we go. I hope you enjoyed the video. So thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. Take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers. Bye. Classic. <laughs>